Okay. How the small interview? Yeah, okay. thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. So you're done. So yeah, my name is Agia, uh, and I'm a co-founder of a startup called Oxdrive, which is a Tesla uh, car sharing. In general, it will be an EV car sharing, like sustainable electric vehicle car sharing mobility provider. But right now we have started with Teslas because it made the whole sense in the world to start with Teslas. It may seem that you know we have a car, we have a car, we have cars, many of them, uh, and you have an app. So how it relates? Well, we still we charge people by the card. Um, for example, we do pre-authorizations for the cars. When you try to reserve a car, um, we will check whether you actually have money. It's not a deposit. We will just pre-authorize and check whether the card is valid, whether it uh, has not expired. If it has, for example, 5, 10, 20 euros. Uh, then at the same time, there may be instances when we take a deposit. And of course, just charging customers for the service they use, uh, which is kind of like the fintech. We have to find the best payment provider which can uh, do all for us. Also, of course, so that it's the best uh, choice in terms of finances, so that it's not, you know, uh, super expensive. In our case, we use uh, a payment provider called Adyen, mm -hmm. uh, and they're also, they're providing also, you know, like those uh, fraudulent cases that they, um, if a card has been matched and, and said that it's fraudulent, let's say, in whichever country like uh, Denmark or Austria, then immediately that card will be blocked also on our side, you know, that also the person will not be able to add it to our account as well. in general say that everything is becoming more homogeneous, you know, like everything is blending together. Yeah. And I think it, it, it has happened always in the world, but, you know, there is a moment where everything blends and then uh, when it's saturated, what will happen again? People, of course, they will be more niches, you know, go again away from each other and then again uh, blending together. But right now, yeah, definitely it's like mobility and through mobility, you can also provide even financial services, you know, like, for example, offering a full service lease to people through our app, for example, which also involves all the sides. And, you know, and in that moment, you sort of cut out even, you know, like banks, for example, for offering usually the loans and leases to, to people for buying cars. And here you can kind of like come in and offer either you buy it or it's a full service lease or, you know, you don't even need to buy the car. You can just kind of like pay only for the time you use because what usually happens is that you buy a car, but actually you use it only five, for 5% 5 of the time. So 95% of the time it's standing but you're still paying full price for it, everything, insurance, uh, parking, uh, fuel, electricity, whatever. Uh, so yeah, it, it all blends so much together that at one moment it could really like, you know, one solution basically for all your needs. No, I would say that it, it seems a bit so that uh, startups and young companies, they are moving on the way in the direction to disrupt the old banking system. Yeah. Um, it is such and everyone knows that. And of course, uh, I think the, mo the most adaptive banks, they are using startup services. So they are blending together now with startups offering different uh, um, services, kind of like in partnership with startups because they understand they're not as flexible and as agile as uh, startups. So, but in the long enough future, I would say that of course, like very old school banks, it will become very hard for them. Unless of course, huge lobby government uh, subsidizing and protecting the banks. Otherwise I would say long enough future and uh, <laughs> they will need to change. I would say that for a customer, mm -hmm. it's like very easy when you have one app, you know, in, in China, for example, WeChat, mm -hmm. it's basically, it's everything. It's your payment method, it's your e-commerce store, it's your uh, communication with friends, it's, it's literally everything. And we can see that, for example, Chinese people, they love it. They, they use it a lot. And I think that for many people, it's, it's sometimes hard that you have to switch from one app to another. And then, you know, you're searching through still not many 
people want to, you know, not many companies want to merge together and be only on one platform. For example, also for mobility companies, not all companies want to be, you know, accessed only through one app and that's it because each of us wants to have their own brand uh, but still I would say that there will be some convergence to having one app for everything at least for a while at least for a while and then again it will you know go the other way oh uh, we want to become one of the biggest sustainable mobility providers but it doesn't just end with car sharing it uh, also includes, you know, full service leasing, car subscription, uh, ride hailing, everything. So what we would like to do is basically build like a conglomerate or holding company, which at first serves more or less underserved markets, markets that don't have all those options. And once we have tackled that, then we take over the world. <laughs> Three words. Can I have more words? <laughs> There's five. <laughs> there is just one one saying that I always say to everyone who is complaining, for example, about this region. I say, if you can make it in Latvia, you can make it everywhere. Okay, why is that? <laughs> because it's a hard market. So if several words, it is a hard because consumer in the Baltics is very demanding, mm -hmm. is very spoiled. Um, so he requires a lot from you. At the same time, he wants to have a cheap price. So it's very hard to have both, you know, high quality, speed and cheap price. So usually you only can pick two, right? Um, so that's what's kind of like a bit harder. Plus it's small. The market is small. We're just, well, we are a small country and that's it. And uh, that is always, you know, like, for example, when you go to the US, you have millions of millions of millions of people to whom you can sell. So always there will be a bunch of people interested in your product or service. Well, when you start here, it's harder to find that community. So your product has to be as good that you can basically serve a small community. And that's what I'm saying. Like if you can make it here, it means that you can basically do it everywhere. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Right. See you soon. Thank you.